Welcome back to my channel and thank you if you've subscribed or shared any of my videos. Today I'm going to be making a masculine tone on tone gatefold card and the other card I'll be creating will be a gatefold card but it's still going to be masculine with a little bit of a playful twist. First cut is going to be at 8 inches. I'm also using the Crafters Companion Large Guillotine and I've used all kinds of guillotines and this is my favorite. Now we're going to bring in our scoreboard and I am using the Score Master by Crafters Companion. and you have different measurements on one side than what you do with the other and this is really nice to use for making boxes as well. On our scoreboard once you lay this out you'll have eight inches across your cardstock. You're going to want to score this for these cards, these gatefold cards. You're going to want to score at two inches and then you're going to want to come over and score at six inches. I used to have a Martha Stewart scoreboard and I hated it because the bone folder just literally like cut into my fingers making it very uncomfortable to use. So I switched to the score master and I love it. It gives such a professional edge on the cards and it looks really nice. And again, I am not affiliated with any of these companies. I just love the products and like telling you all about them. Creates a perfect gatefold. Now we're bringing back in the guillotine and we have our long gatefold. And we need to chop this down to five and a half and we'll have two gatefold cards. I chop this down. I like to go a little bit less than the five and a half. Just a little bit. And then cut it off. And then we have our two gatefold card bases ready to go. I found this really cute burlap paper pad at Hobby Lobby and I just want to show you how cute the paper is and this is actual paper now for this step if you have just a regular burlap ribbon that would work too or if you have a special embossing folder that you would like to use you can absolutely use that too but this is the paper that we're going to use next I'm going to be cutting this down to five and a quarter and when you're cutting this paper, apply pressure to your guillotine this way as you're dropping the blade down. And then it will cut right off. If you don't kind of apply pressure that way, it'll kind of get hung up in your machine. And we're going to be cutting this one down to three quarters of an inch. And then this is one panel and I'm going to make the next. Now that we have our two panels, I'm just going to use Vintage Photo Distress Ink by Tim Holtz to go around the edges of each of these mats. I've inked both these panels completely around with the vintage photo and now we're ready to apply them to our card. Then we're just going to apply glue to our panels. I think this burlap just gives so much character 
to the front of the card and it really makes it look very masculine. Now we're going to be creating the embellishments for our card and we are going to be using the Window Slim Dyes Flower Garden Collection from Diamond Press and in here I need the word you. So I'm going to die cut this word. You can see the word you. You can use any paper pack that you want to cut this out of or cardstock, but this is a paper stash. It's called Abandon, and this is the Tim Holtz Idolology collection. And in here, I mean, there's beautiful papers, but we're going to pick out a shade of brown. So I really love this shade and there was darker portions up here. So this is what we're going to be using. And I think I'm actually going to darken this a bit because it's not dark enough for my liking. And I'm just going to bring in my side, my Sizzix Sidekick here to die cut this out. And then from our die cut, we have this cute little U. You can see how lightly colored this kind of is, and I would like to have it a little bit darker. So I am going to use Ranger's Archival Ink. It's in the color Potting Soil to make this darker. I'm just going to lay it down and just smash the ink into it just to make it darker. I'm going to pull this through the Xyron just to make the back sticky. And then I'm going to run it back through the sidekick just so we can press that adhesive down to the die and get all the webbing off. And now that die cut is ready. I have these cute little alphabet stamps. These are the uppercase version. These came from Hobby Lobby and these are great for if you don't have the stamp or the word. Of course you could always print it out on your printer and cut it out that way but if you want a stamp I find that these are really easy to use to create words if you need them. So you just tear them apart to get the words that you need. But I actually have my words already together because I've used these before. So I'm sticking them together to say are my. And we're just going to stamp it out on this paper. And I'm going to use the archival ink and this impression doesn't have to be really good because we are going to actually be handwriting over top of it later. So just ink it up and stamp it. A little too light for my card and that's why we are going to write over top of this. This is just a brown Papermate ink gel pen and if you have not used these pens they are the most amazing gel pens that you will ever use. They are so good and they're the 0 0.7 ink joy gel pen. So with this brown I'm going to trace over top of these letters. Just like that. 
See how much darker the pen makes it? And it looks really nice. And these write so smooth. And I'm gonna just tape this down before running it through my die cut machine. And you can use any die cut machine that you want. I'm going to be taking this over and running it through my big kick. So now that I've die cut it, We've got this cute little heart and it looks like one of those little tiny candy hearts. It's so cute. We're just going to pull back in our vintage photo distress ink and we're just going to carefully ink around the edges to make it darker. So once the edges are inked it ends up looking so cute. We got like a little bit of a darker edge and then a little bit of a faded edge all the way around. I'll try to link all the products down below in the description of the things that I'm using in this video. And this is one of them, the Hip Stamp Hooray. This is such a really cute world stamp set. And if you don't have, don't worry, you can just print one of these out from your computer and have it ready to go for what we're going to do. But I'm going to be using my Tim Holtz stamping platform and I have it, I have a piece of sticky grid. And this is sticky on both sides and this keeps me from having to use the magnets so it just keeps my card stock in place as I'm stamping. I'm gonna be inking this stamp with the potting soil archival ink because we're trying to stay within our brown colors. And here is our stamped image. Once we have our stamped image, we are going to just line up this heart however we want it to appear on the card because it's just a world map stamp and this could be a picture of a map. Just line up your heart onto your stamped image how you want it die cut. Hold it in place by tape so it doesn't move through your machine and then run it through your die cut machine. For this next step I'm going to be going around the edges of the heart and if you don't have a scorch marker then just take a regular dark brown marker and go along the edges but because I want this to look burnt I'm using a scorch marker. And now I'm going to use my heat tool to heat around the edges to burn the edges. And that's what we have. And anytime you're using a scorch marker on paper, just be careful with it. It's normally used for wood burning, but I like the look that it gives on paper. In this next step, you're going to need a rectangle that is three and a quarter inches long by seven eighths inches wide. And now I'm going to be using the alphanumeric bold die cut letters by Tim Holtz. They're through Sizzix. They're thinlets. And this is what the packaging looks like. And I have them all here on a magnetic sheet. And I've already took out the letters that I'm going to be using. And this portion of it does not have to be perfect at all because we kind of want the letters to be all jumbled up. And depending upon what letters you have, I mean, you could write this out or print it out. Whatever you have will work. You don't have to have these little die cut letters. This is just what I'm using. And then once you have your dies exactly where you want them, grab a piece of low tech tape and any kind of low tech tape will work. And just put it right over the letters and press down. And then we're going to run that through our die machine. And once you remove 
your die cut and this is the piece we want put all your little letters to the side but your inside pieces stick to the middle of the letters and we need those pieces to glue inside here if you don't want to glue them you don't have to but I I'm gonna like the look of it with them glued in now you're gonna need a darker piece of cardstock in a brown tone and it's going to measure three and a half by one inch and this is what we're going to use to mat on this so just glue these together so I just ran this through my Zyron and we're just going to stick it right on here and then glue in your middle pieces and this is what it looks like when you're finished now we're going to bring back over our card and we're going to go ahead and glue just this side from here over to put on our card you don't want to put glue all the way across just on the one side you have that glued down just like that this side of the heart we're going to put our glue over here don't come all the way out to the middle we just want our glue over here to stick it down really give that a press and then we're going to bring in our little heart and we're just going to stick it just going to stick it right there and then peel off or glue down you can use whatever you want to make the word you tie it to your card up in the corner and now I'm going to take some of this studio uh, the paper studio twine and it's got like some brown and white in it and I really thought that this was cute and I bought this at Hobby Lobby And then we just have this really cute little bow to finish off our card. So for this next card, we're using the gatefold base that we already cut out. I already have my panels that are going to go on the front pre-trimmed. And this is a 3D texture fade and it's in leaves and it's from Tim Holtz collection. It's from Sizzix. And this is called Foliage. And if you see, it's right there. And this is the name of this 3D texture fade. So this is what I'm going to be using on the actual panels. So I'm going to run these through and use the texture fade on them spritzed both of these front and back with water before putting them into my texture fade. And now I'm just going to take it and run it through my die cutting machine. And again I'm using the Vintage Photo. The Vintage Photo Distress Ink is one of my favorite inks to use. I'm going to just take this and I'm just going to lightly run it over top just to give it a little bit of character. Sometimes things are just happy accidents. Just gonna continue with our ink and go around the edges of the card. And I also have the Distress Crayons Water Reactive Pigment. The um, Vintage Photo in the Distress Crayon is what I'm gonna be using. And just to highlight the edges a little bit more, I'm gonna go along the edges and then just kind of smudge it out with my finger and don't worry this this does come off it'll wash off <laughs> so no worries you can get a little bit messy with crafting it's totally okay messy fingers means happy crafting and you can immediately just see how that's already darkening up that edge and making that look so nice it's just the light edging with the ink and then coming in with that distress crayon and going through there and smudging it out really makes a world of difference. This mat for all of this I 
felt like it was going to give too much of a reflection until I can get that set up properly because I love my Tim Holtz glass mat. Look how beautiful. That just little bit of dark edge on there just adds so much character. And now we're going to glue these panels to the side of our card. So now we have our panels on the front of our gatefold. The stamp set that I'm going to be using for this card is called Technique Tuesday. And it's got the cute little froggy on it. And it's got so many cute little sayings that you could use for different cards. But we're going to use the little frog and the You Are Unfrogettable from the stamp set. The name of the stamp set is called Felix the Frog. But we are going to add a little bit of eyelashes and maybe a little heart and make little lips and we are going to turn Felix into Felicia. One thing I like to do when I get a new stamp set is I like to leave it in the packaging but I cut just above the plastic sheet that's inside of here what your stamps are on. I'll cut right above that and make sure it's clipped to the edge on both sides and then that way I can just pull it out use it slide it right back in and then I can hang this up really neatly on my pegboard so I can see what stamps that I have so that's a tip for you today and I stamped him with the archival ink potting soil our little Felix. So I went ahead and did our sentiment and I did the image. So I'm using the square set and this is the, it says Tim Holtz rectangles on, but this is framelits. I have a square set with stitching on it and then I have a rectangle set. But for this purpose of what we're gonna do, I'm using the square set and you can just cut out a regular square is perfectly fine for this card but you can see the difference in both of these die sets but I love the stitching on this so we're going to use this one around this cute little frog the vintage photo distressed crayon and we are going to go around the outer rim of this and the sentiment I'm going to draw eyelashes on Felix and see what it looks like. Because we are turning Felix into Felicia. And now I'm going to be bringing back in the Papermate Ink Joy gel pen in the color brown. I'm just going to go over the eyelashes and the lips that I drew out. So for my card I've decided that I want this edging a lot darker so I'm just going to come in and put a little of the potting soil archival ink around the edges to darken it up just a little bit. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Now we're going to put our sentiment on first, and I'm going to glue it on this side. So we want the glue over here. And for this part, we want to put the glue on this side. But remember, don't go all the way to the middle because you only want glue on the one side. I'm going to grab our twine again. And there you have another sweet gatefold card that's on the masculine side, but it's got a little bit of a cutesy twist to it, and it's adorable, and you could give this to anyone. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you enjoyed these cards, and I'll catch you in the next video.